Hi all, my name is Kapil and in today's tutorial we are going to learn how to read an XML file and load it into DB using Pentaho Kettle and then we want to read the same data from the DB and we want to transform it a little bit and then we are going to do this by executing a, a stored procedure and uh, we will be dumping the data into new XML file and make sure that the segments and the tags are same in both the XMLs and only thing we want to cha change is the values in those tags so these are the tools that I'm going to use today Pentaho Kettle for ETL integration and then SQL Server for DB operations and uh, Sigwin and with the SSH daemon installed or put it to access your local directories and carry out the shell scripts and any other comparing tool for you know checking the differences between the two files the, the input file and the, the file that we are going to generate so i think i have all the things ready this is uh, my um sigwin and i have installed ssd daemon in there and then this is pentaho and uh, this is my db so now let's start so first off let's check how our source file is so this is the source file which we are going to extract and then we are going to dump all these information into the db and then we want to change the values so this is actually an xml file which is which is part of uh, a cricket game and uh, based on these values a cricket ball uh, you know behaves how it you know you know it, it it plays in the game so like if it is an off spin off break type and ball and then pitch type is damp and the friction is this much and hardness is going to be this much and this is the max speed of the ball in meter per second and this is the minimum speed so you have all the things for different types of pitches different types of bowlers and different types of the bowling options you know so these are the things that make all the things uh, you know work in the in the game on the runtime so i just want to make sure that i want to tweak these values a little bit not too much because if if all these values are changed a lot more and then you never know what what impact it is going to do on the game like ball might bounce a lot and it might grip too low and then it's it's really going to be horrible to play for both the cpu and for the for the player so only thing is that i want to change these values but not by too much of margin but maybe just enough to just make the game all more interesting you know maybe you know i want to change this value by 0.8 times they are there or like maybe 1.2 times more speed or something like that so let's see how we are going to do that so this is the background of our source file okay so this is the job that's gonna um, read the xml file and then we are going to dump it into sql server so this is the step that we use it's called uh, get get xml data you can see it over here and then you know this is the source file where in the, the inbound directory where i have put it and you just go here you add it and then you just you browse it and then you add it over here and the important part over here is that content so now you see the source file looks like this you know delivery pitch type is equal to damp friction is equal to 4.7 and the tag closes here but the you know the it's just the closing of the opening tag and the you know the delivery tag opens only after the side spin and top spin so then what we want to do is uh loop x path like this is this is the path that i'm going to give until side spin because this is this is the lowest level in our xml and top spin max and top spin min and default it is there but it's not the the lowest like side spin and top spin are the lowest levels so we want to give the x path to the the you know the least uh, you know tag where we can penetrate through in the xml and now we are going to go to the fields and the pitch type is what deliveries delivery pitch type so we are going to uh, go one directory back and then we are going to put the value pitch type so now we were here in the side spin we went back to one directory to delivery and now we went to the pitch type so similarly for friction oh damn hardness i i just mixed it up a little bit here so hardness is hardness and then max and then min and then type okay and then when you came to side spin max so the side spin 
and then this is your uh, x path that you have given and it's it's there until side spin so you are going to just put max because you have already provided the x path until over here so now you are going to just give the values of uh, max and min and default over there and now when you want to you know uh, get the value for top spin so then you go one directory back so you are again back to the delivery and then you again traverse one directory into top spin and then min max and default so let's see what values we are going to get now so yeah looks like good and uh, uh, we have got all the information over here like pitch type friction hardness max min and things like that so like we are good for now so okay control s and then like select values we are just not doing anything just you know taking anything that 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 was there in the field and then this is my uh, uh connection uh, sql server connection so it's my uh local host so local host my db name my instance name the username and password so just test it so it looks good and then we are gonna just shoot it so now then and the table type is truncate as far as i can remember yeah so each time i run this job the table damn it so the table is gonna be truncated on each run so let's run this thing hmm so logging and 416 yep so looks like we are good and then we read the xml and then we did really nothing great here and we we just dumped it over here so now let's see what is the thing that you've got here <clears throat> new sql and okay let's truncate it from here truncate table e bracket deliveries and execute it okay and then select star from <clears throat> mm -hmm. okay so you really got nothing here let's run the job again hmm select star from here okay okay so looks pretty much good and Hi, so now then uh, we have got our uh, XML data ready in the DB and now we have to uh, do some sort of manipulations and transformations on, on these numerical values so that we can create a new XML file with these two values. So I am going to use a uh, stored proce procedure over here because uh, I really don't want to do these manipulations in the ETL and make the things more tidy and, and you know, utter, you know, more complicated because uh, i just want to create an sp which will do all these operations and each time i just uh, do the input of uh, executing this sp i'm going to get the change values each time so uh, this is the sp that i have written and it's not gonna do anything too fancy just we are gonna uh, tweak some values over here so only this is the this is the heart of this SP, which is going to just uh, change the values of uh, the numerical part of that uh, XML file. So let's see what actually this is doing. So when you execute this part alone, so you see the multiplier is 0 0.901. So I mean, I want to change the value uh, not change I want to multiply those numerical values between the range of 0 0.86 and 1.23 so each time I run this thing I'm gonna see 1.08 1.056 1.231 1.250 so my numerical value should get multiplied by this number that I'm going to have here so now this is the and this is the job where I'm going to change the values and try to create one xml file 
so you see in the in the table input uh, step i am i am really not writing any sql like select star or something i just uh, gave the connection details and let's quickly check if they are good or not so the same old thing test it connection is good it's just localhost nothing too fancy about it now i am going to execute the, this road procedure which we created in our db so see this is the name okay create procedure sp new cric delive and this is what i am calling so now when i do preview it's going to execute this each time so let's see how it works so you see the value is 13.44 for the off spin off break pitch type damp and you know the delivery id is one to this is just identity column which i created for the sake of uniqueness and you see multiplier is 1.1 .1 for delivery id one for two it is one so basically no changes as such and 0 0.9 for delivery id 4 and so on and so forth now let's preview it again so the the sp will be fired once again and let's see how this time it's gonna work so you see this time the multiplier is 0 0.8 for all the three and uh, for five it is one and so just that you know to have that sense of newness and uniqueness and everything is new each time the experience you never know what's gonna come so and, and and it's not too big that it's going to make a too huge change in the in the type the cricket ball is going to behave in the game so you know just to be safe you know not not mess around too much just tweak a little bit to have the element of surprise but don't ruin everything so now we are set and uh, let's quickly run this job and see what we are going to get Hmm, okay, so let's go to the logging 426. So that means we ran it just now. So preview data, this is what he fetched from the DB. So 10.32, and this is the all new thing. So this time we got 0 0.9, 1.2, and so on and so forth. And nothing we did over here. And this is the XML output. And where exactly did we create the XML, which is over here? Uh outbox in the in the outbox directory. So let's quickly go back to outbox data outbox 426 and let's see how our xml looks like so double click on this thing and our xml looks like this though it's a valid xml everything is fine the segments and everything is good but this is not exactly how our input xml was you see input xml we had pitch type equal to damp and then friction is equal to 4.7 and the values were within the quotes and the pitch type and all these things and then the delivery tag was like uh, not the tag was not closed but tag was just open with the values inside in here and then the side spin tag was open and then top spin and then delivery was closed for each each delivery type you see but what we actually generated it's like you know it's not too correct it's, it's it looks good it's a proper xml file but this is not what we were looking for so that means this job is not going to cut it so we have to do some serious hardcore etl uh, cutting pivoting merging and stuff so we are going to do that in order to create the exact format of the xml so let's see how we are going to do that